Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is DJ Kiz Walsh and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change the beat grid and the BPM in your DJ software. So welcome back to another video. Today's one's a quick little video showing you guys how you can change the track information in your DJ software when it gets analyzed incorrectly. So when you put a song into your DJ software, of course the computer or the software itself runs a little algorithm that tries to detect the BPM, the key, the beat grid, all that stuff. Sometimes the software does, however, get it wrong. It uh, hap actually happens quite a lot. It probably happens one in a hundred tracks, I'd say. And it's something that you need to fix if you wanna have a smooth beat match. Now you can DJ without the beat grid and you can DJ without the BPM. Obviously that's an old school way of DJing, but most DJs these days need to see the BPM. They need to see the beat grid so that they know everything's in time, especially if you're a beginner. And it's definitely a good thing to have all the right track information set just to make mixing easier for yourself. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can change the BPM and the beat grid in your DJ software. So all you guys wanna do is you wanna go into your DJ software. And as you can see here, uh, our track, uh, Fisher Wanna Go Dancing, has been analysed incorrectly. So first of all, the first bar of the track has been analysed incorrectly. It actually thinks it's one beat into the track rather than at the start of the track. The second thing that the software has analysed incorrectly is the BPM. It thinks it's 127 BPM. But as you can see in this section here, the track is definitely not the right BPM. It's not analysed as a correct BPM, so how do we change this? So the first thing we need to do is find the original BPM of the track that's been analyzed incorrectly. So all you do is you just come to Google and you just type in the track that you are looking for. So it's gonna be Fisher, Wanna Go Dancing uh, BPM. So all you wanna do is type in the name of the track you are looking for, followed by BPM. And if you go on a website like Beatport or any of these other websites, it will tell you the original BPM of the track. So we've gone onto Beatport here, and as you can see, it says the original BPM is actually 125. So all we do now is go back over to the software and we edit the BPM in there. So here we are back on the software. So all you do is you click this little button here, right below the hot cue section. You click it right here, and you see this? It says 127 BPM. Now we know the track's 125, so all we do is we put 125. Now as you can see, the track has almost gone back to normal. Perfect, right? because now the track is the correct BPM that it should be, so the beats are bang on where they should be. We still have one problem, and that's that the software thinks that the first bar of the track is actually one beat in, but it's not. All you do to do this is you go to the part of the track that is the first bar, the very first point in the track that you wanna mix from, and you click this little button right above where you change the BPM. You click that, and there you go. The start of the track, the start of the first bar, will now be where you placed that cursor. Bear in mind where you do place that cursor is where the software will think is the start of the track. So you wanna place that cursor in a place where you also believe is the start of the track or at least the place where you were mixing from. If this video has helped you, please subscribe to the channel. Also drop the video a like, leave any more suggestions of videos you would like to see, quick little tips, and I'll be sure to make them for you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, I'll see you later.